Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Stats All Day with Dr. O'Day. Today we're going to be going over descriptive statistics in Jamovi. Now make sure that you hit that like and subscribe if this video was helpful to you. And please let me know if there's any video content that you would like to see coming up. So today again we're going over descriptive statistics. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Jamovi data file here. And what we see is I have, and typically when we're examining the descriptives, we're either creating charts or we're writing our participants section. I would say that that's the most often option is that I'm working on my participants section right here. So let's say that I wanna know the number of men, women, and gender non-binary individuals there were in my study. I wanna know the breakdown of participants by race, and I wanna know the average age of my participants. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to Exploration and click Descriptives. So once I do that, I just need to scroll down to where I see my actual age, race, and gender variables here. So I'm going to go ahead and put gender, race, whoop, gender, race, and age over in the variables box. Now it's by default, it's going to give you the number of people that you know were in your sample. It's going to give you the number of missing data here. It's going to give you the mean, the median, the minimum, and the maximum. Now, I'm oftentimes interested in the standard deviation as well. I can also ask for the standard error if I'm creating a chart or something like that. And one of the things here is that yours might not match mine and that it might only give you one decimal place. See how mine's giving it two? With every single one of our statistics, we want to round to two decimal places, except p-values we want to take to three decimal places. So I'm just going to come show you how to get those two decimal places because again, yours is probably just giving you one by default here. So I'm going to click these three dots in the top right-hand corner. And there I can go to number format and I want to change by default it's 3SF but I'm going to change this to two decimal places and you can see by default it's giving me three decimal places on my p-value so I'm good to go there. And so I'll just close that out. And now, again, we're getting two decimal places here. Now, the only thing that's really helpful here is the mean and the standard deviation for age because it doesn't make any sense to say that the average race of my participants was two with a standard deviation of 2.32 or the average gender was 1.70, standard deviation of 0.53. It just doesn't make any sense there. So instead, I'm going to focus on age right now. So I'm going to report the average age as 38.8 and the standard deviation as 13.11. Now, if I want to actually know how many men, women, and gender non-binary individuals there were in my sample, I can actually click frequency tables over here. And once I do that, we see that there were 108 men, 216 women, and four gender non-binary individuals. We also see the breakdown of race as well, as well as the percentages that are assigned to each of those races. So you can see in this particular sample, I had a majority female sample and a majority white individual sample here. So those are our descriptive statistics. Now, one of the things that you might be doing when you're looking at descriptive statistics that I'm going to also show you how to do is we can also split and examine the mean and standard deviation across different conditions in our data file. So let me go to one of my outcome variables. In this particular study, we were examining um, perceptions of parents who either backlash their child, affirm their child's behavior, or you know, um, a control condition in which we didn't specify. And let's say, and then we also manipulated whether the child was a boy or a girl. So actually let's ask here for the child likability. And you can see that the average likability of the child was 6.29 and the standard deviation was 1.45. But I wanna know, are those means different depending on whether it was a boy or a girl child? So I'm going to go ahead in my data file and I'm going to find the child variable and that's where I have coded as whether the child was a boy or a girl and so now you can see that if I put that in the split by I can now see the mean for boy the mean for girl 
and the standard deviation for boy and the standard deviation for girl. And so just, you know, oftentimes before we run statistics, we want to look at the means and standard deviations and we can kind of get an idea of whether those are going to be significantly different from one another. You see that the girls were perceived in likability as about 0.5 more than the boys on a one to nine scale. The standard deviations though are about 1.5. So if we're looking at this, you know, this is a small to medium effect. Um, and so, you know, maybe it's significant, but generally that it's gonna be fairly weak difference here. Um, but again, right now I'm just focusing in on descriptive statistics and showing you how you can see the different means and standard deviations by different groups. You could add in other categorical variables as well here. So I could do the age of the child, which we also manipulated here. And so you can see the boy who was six years old, um, the boy who was six years old, the mean is 6.32, boy who was 10, 6.11, so on and so forth. So that's how you're going to go ahead and calculate up these, these descriptive statistics. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. As always, let me know if you have any feedback or any questions. And please let me know if there's any video content that you'd like to see coming up. With that, have a great rest of your day. Keep on running those stats.